Uncle Maury and his wife, my Aunt Bobby, never had any kids of their own. They had their beloved dogs, but growing up, I knew I had somehow earned a special place in their hearts. They were my godparents, and I called them uncle and aunt, but we weren't directly related by blood. They came to all our family gatherings, and we attended their much less subdued house parties. Back then, in the colorful, shag-carpeted 1970s, people weren't afraid to have a good time, and the cocktails and crazy stories flowed freely. Uncle Maury spun the best of these. Spotting a glint in his eye and a flash of his gold cap front tooth, you always knew when something outrageous was about to be said. Decades went by, but we never lost that connection. And then last year, he became one of the few remaining relatives where our relationship hadn't put me in a supportive role, like with my dad who has dementia. With Maury, we could carry on as godfather and godson as if time wasn't a barrier. Until it was. Last April, I was thrust into a caregiver role, timed precisely with me being packaged out from a 20-year career. This gave me the opportunity to be with him throughout his decline, from retirement home, eventually to the hospital. We had nothing but time to catch up and chat about family, current events, and sports. And I never knew how much I had meant to him until one afternoon he told me. It was a revelation repeated at Maury's funeral, when one of his elderly cousins said that he often referred to me as the son he never had. It was an unexpected gift from a godparent who became a parent as he crossed the finish line.